Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install this awesome new app installer slash app store called Pi Apps. Pi Apps has been created by a GitHub user named Botspot. The name might ring a bell since he also created vDesktop for the Pi and I'll make sure to leave a link to his GitHub page in the description below. Anyway, this app store allows you to easily install handy apps that are usually a little trickier to install than others, like Berlin Etcher and Minecraft Java Edition. It also aims to make new open source community based software more accessible and to standardize app installation on the Raspberry Pi. To install Pi App, simply open up the terminal and type the following command. You can also just copy and paste the commands from the GitHub page. After that, type home slash pi slash pi app slash install to install it. Now pi app should be successfully installed. You can open it up by clicking on the raspberry in the top left corner of the screen and heading to accessories. After opening it up, you should see a list of apps that you can install on your Pi with a click of a button. These apps include Arduino, Balena Etcher, Box86, Box ESVG, the Chromium Media Edition browser for watching Netflix, Amazon, Hulu and so on, Color Emoji Font, Commando Pi, Conkey, Cool Retro Term, Cordless, Cura, Discord, Email Checker, FreeCAD, Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition, PyKiss, Pi Power Tools, Retro Pi, Sonic Pi, TBO Player, Update Buddy, VStudio, Windows 10 Theme, and even Zoom. For demonstration purposes, I'm quickly going to install Discord by double clicking on it. As you can see, Discord was installed very quickly. and seems to work perfectly fine. Overall, I'm really impressed with the idea and functionality of Pi Apps. It's an incredible app store for the Pi that I'm sure will only grow and improve even further. And if you want to add your own game to it, for others to use, simply go to Menu, Preferences, Pi App Settings, New App and follow the on-screen guide. But other than that, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.